What's up, y'all? It's your boy Lee, and I'm Tim Kudu, South African Geek. Welcome to my channel. Like if you like my review, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Make reviews, reactions, and vlogs. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, I'm to dive right into this review for Paddington 2. I know this is a movie from last year, but I'm slowly catching up to movies. You know? And this movie was fantastic. Like, I even watched the first one this year. Imagine that. And can't believe I, I took so long to watch these two movies. Anyway, Paddington 2 was phenomenal. British people have this thing for bears, probably originated from Winnie the Pooh. And I did a reaction to Christopher Robin, if you want to check that out. And I'm excited for it. Winnie the Pooh really had an impact in all our lives, honestly. Okay, most of the people I know. Anyway, I'm just going to talk about Paddington. This was a, a really good-ass movie. Like, not just story-wise, but visually, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, this aesthetic with it, that was just breathtaking. And the camera movement, subtle, but really meant something, you know what I'm saying? The story overall was good. It was unbelievable, but in a childlike sense, so you let it slide. So, basically, I want to know if this show, if you know, tell me in the comment section below, if... It, I mean, this movie, they do motion capture. Because the way Paddington just seamlessly sits sits in the scene with human beings. He just sits well, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's a rare commodity, even in this modern age, 2018, where we get such great VFX CGI work, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it was a great movie, The Family was a great touch this time around the love they have for Paddington was more you know what I'm saying because the first movie you had to earn their love and this time once you earn that family's love they ride or die for you it was touching the prison <laughs> the prison buddies was also Knuckles was funny uh, this movie was phenomenal what else stood out the villain in this I think that he basically was fulfilling his family destiny but he kind of found his calling in prison at the end he learned how to work with people because that was that that's what his problem was from that agent's perspective that he, he he thinks he's too much of a talent he can't work with anybody and in prison he only worked with people his disguises were classic it was on some series unfortunate events type of disguise you know it, it, it's so childlike and in, innocent story and the fact that they flew his grandmother at the end that was so touching she finally got to see to think that he was adopted on top of that kind of a way you can get adopted in the woods <laughs> this is a great movie i give it an 8 out of 10 i'm definitely gonna watch Paddington 1 and 2 again hopefully show other people you know what i'm saying like my younger cousins, if I have kids in the far, far future. <laughs> yeah, anyway, that's my thoughts on Paddington, too. Hey, before I sign out, check out hashtag I'm a creator. It's a community of creators who create on YouTube. Just write hashtag I'm a creator on Twitter, on Facebook, even on Instagram, I think. And you'll find a group of creators. You find James Crox who started the group, who makes live streams, or a bunch of creators can meet each other, communicate, support each other. It's not sub for sub, but most of the time people do support you back when they like your content. So my channel's been growing since, so I thought I should let you guys know. Hashtag I'm a creator. Deuces.